Today we're off to try traditional Turkish breakfast, which is called kavalti. We're not exactly sure what it entails, but we believe it to be a spread of lots of different small plates of things like cheeses, olives, uh, bread, preserves, who knows what else, we have no idea. All we know is that it comes with a lot of Turkish tea, so we're excited about that. So we're gonna head off to Van Kavalti EV, which apparently do a really, really great traditional Turkish breakfast. So we're gonna go check it out and see what kinds of amazing dishes that they have to offer. Let's go. So as soon as we sat down, they brought us a tea and a basket of bread already. The service here so far since we've been in Turkey and Istanbul has been amazing. As soon as we walk in, we always get served right away. Most of the time they ask us right away what we want. Um, here they brought us the tea and the basket of bread already, so can't wait to find out what else we got. So we're just going through the menu here. There's actually a lot of different options as a breakfast restaurant but we came here for one thing and one thing only, the set breakfast for two. So there's actually two different varieties. There's one for 55 Turkish Lira and one for 60 Lira. So we went with the 60 Lira. I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. All I know is that the 60 Lira one comes with unlimited tea, so we're in. Breakfast time! Honey and cream. <laughs> Eggs. Everything's just arrived and it looks amazing. It is such a huge spread of food. We've got a bunch of different varieties of olives, preserves, dips. We have the cream, the K-Mac, and honey. I'm really excited for it. We have eggs, did I say eggs, cheeses. Yeah, it looks like a massive spread, so I can't wait to dig in. Okay, so I'm gonna dig in with these olives here because these look really, really good. Mmm. So it's green olive. Has some herbs and spices on it. I don't know what this is here. It almost looks like apple or something. Let's give it a shot though. Hmm. I have no idea what that is. It does not taste like apple at all. It's actually quite savory. I have no idea. It has a bit of like a mushy consistency, but a little greasy, like maybe a bit of butter or something on there. That's good. Chris is going to have to try this and see what he thinks about it. Alright, so we got a plate of bread along with our basket of bread, so I'm going to give it a try. Mm, it's like a sweet bread, but it's a bit sugary than the normal kind of bagel that was in the basket of bread. It's warm too, so that's nice. I think these are jams, so I'm going to give these jams a try. I'm just going to dip it right in. Mm, it's like an apple sauce. You can see pieces of apple in there as well. So it's really, really sweet. There's actual pieces of apple, which is nice. Oh no, that's definitely an orange peel. This is definitely marmalade, not apple jam. Let's try this other one. Looks like maybe a fig jam. You can see some seeds in it. So let's see. Oh yeah, it smells like fig. That's a fig jam. That's good. Not too sweet. Goes well with the bread, sweet bread. It's a good jam. All right, so of course I have to try the eggs. So it looks like they're just two fried eggs. Mm, nice and hot. Tastes like a fried egg. I'm just gonna get in this yolk here. 
such an orangey oak. Look at that. This is gonna be good. Mm. The eggs taste so fresh. And like I said, that orange yolk probably came from a chicken this morning. All right, looks like we got some black olives here to go along with our green olives. Just seasoning it. Mm -hmm. It's a black olive, kind of like a Kalamata olive again. All right, so I'm gonna try this dish here. Steph didn't know quite what it was, so let's see if I can tell what it is. Definitely smells like it's a little fried. Mm. It's got like a batter to it. I think, I think it's fish, like a fried fish. It's got a very mild fish taste to it. I'm gonna try a couple of these different dips that we have here. So this one looks a bit like a tzatziki, I think. It looks cucumbery. So let's give it a shot. Mmm. Yeah, it's definitely very similar to the tzatziki. The cucumber is really fresh, really crispy. Let's try some of this. It kind of looks like a red pepper type of a paste. Ooh, it smells a little spicy actually. Like, oh, that's really good. So it's kind of like a red pepper, tomato, red pepper like tomato-y kind of paste. It's got some nice spices in there. Maybe like a like a bit of a, like a chili flake, or maybe like sumac because they do use sumac as a, a really popular spice here in Turkey. So that's nice, really really flavorful. Great with the fresh bread. The bread itself, as well by the way, is really tasty. Super fresh, really soft, crunchy on the outside. That's good bread. So also one of the last sort of dip kind of things here is this guy. Oh, it's got quite a liquidy-ish texture to it, movement to it. Let's see. Oh, oh wow. That's really tasty, actually. I'm pretty sure that's like a tahini. It's really smooth, really quite thick actually, like even though you can see it moving around, it's so thick in your mouth, almost like a peanut butter. That's really, really good. That's tasty. Oh yeah, let get some more of that. All right, so I'm gonna try what looks to be like an olive oil with garlic in it. Kinda smells like nothing really. So let's give it a taste. So as soon as I dip it in, it's not olive oil at all because it's pretty thick. So maybe it's something else. Mmm, it's super sweet. So it's almost like a cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon with nuts in it. A really thick cinnamon. It has like that grind, grindy, kind of like cinnamon taste to it. That's not olive oil and garlic at all. <laughs> not what I was expecting. Mm. Mm. On second taste, is it, I think it's brown sugar with almond pieces, with almond chunks, and some honey on top. It's really good. So we got a plate of cucumber and tomatoes here. Steph's not a huge raw tomato fan, so I guess these tomatoes are mine. Really juicy tomatoes. I'm gonna dip the tomato in a tahini. Mm. That really goes well with the tomato. It's the sesame of the tahini goes well with the sweet tomato. That's a good combo. Okay, so I'm gonna tuck into these cheeses, which look really, really good. There's some here that I have no idea what they are. This one has, I don't know, looks like some herbs in there. So the first one, it's kind of like a mix between a Swiss and a mozzarella. That's pretty good, I love mozzarella cheese. 
Second one. Ooh, wow. Very salty. Very creamy. Much more like a feta. Now this one, ooh. So first sticking my fork into it, this one is a tiny little bite there, but this one is a lot harder than the uh, other one that I just tried. It's much harder and denser, less creamy than the other one. Uh, a bit briny, so kind of like a feta, you know, sitting in the brine, I think. Oh, wow. This one is kind of interesting. Interesting texture. It's kind of hard but soft at the same time. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's got a super sharp flavor. Whoa. <laughs> almost more, you know what? It's almost more like a blue cheese. But not quite the same flavor as a blue cheese. Really, really sharp. Um, it has like a goat cheese flavor to it. So, wow, that one's really different. Really, really interesting. We'll have to see which one that is. Cause yeah, it kind of tastes like a goat cheese. And then the last cheese we have is this like stringy cheese, which kind of looks like a cheese string. And I absolutely love cheese strings. Wow, oh my gosh, that's so stringy. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna like try it, try and have at it. It's like a snake. Yeah, actually that's very, very similar to a cheese string that we get back home in Canada. I don't know if any of you have cheese strings, but they're really, really good. It's kind of like a mozzarella, a mozzarella cheese. I like all of them, but yeah, the one cheese is really, really, really sharp. Really interesting flavor. Wow, those are all so good. All right, I'm gonna try this sharp cheese that Steph tried. Let's see what kind of cheese it is. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like a goat cheese. It has a really strong smell. Oh. It's got like preserved vegetables in it. It's really pickly or something. It's like pickled cheese, almost. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm a fan. All right, what you've all been waiting for, the honey and cream. So I'm gonna give this a try. Just kidding, I'm gonna let Steph try it first. Uh, excuse me, the cream is definitely, definitely good. Let's dig in. So this looks actually quite different than the cream we had last time. It's almost like a slice of it, kind of. I'm just gonna try it on its own first though. <laughs> okay. So it's very similar to the other one, but almost more. Well, you can see there's more liquid in it. So it almost has like a whipping cream kind of flavor. Like if you have whipping cream before you've actually whipped it up, well, it's just like really thick, heavy cream. So it's pretty much like a thick, heavy cream, but then it's also solid. That's really, really good. Let's dip it in the honey. Get a little, oops. Wow, that's really sticky honey. <laughs> Holy moly, that's delicious. This is gonna get, oh my God, so messy. <laughs> that's good, that's really good. So we were just chatting with uh, one of the servers here and we were asking them about this really, really sharp straw cheese that we had. <clears throat> and turns out it's actually sheep's cheese. So we were on the right track with goat and it's made with just a variety of wild herbs. And he was saying the name of the cheese is Van, which is actually the name of the restaurant, Van Cavalti. And it's a cheese from Eastern Turkey and the area is called Van. So it all connects so yeah so that's the cheese and they were also saying that the uh k-mac that we tried which is different than the one we had the other day is also actually made fresh here every day so um i don't know if i mentioned the cheese is made here especially they don't go out and buy it from the store or anything like that and same with the k-mac they make it here fresh every day so it's a real treat having our traditional Turkish breakfast here for sure. So I asked one of the servers what I thought was fish is actually eggs with flour. 
So, it's a mix of eggs and flour, which apparently tastes like battered fish to me. So what I thought was brown sugar with cinnamon, honey, and almonds is actually a milled brown flour with honey and walnuts. Overall, this amazing breakfast spread was 120 Turkish lira for the two of us, which is about eight and a half dollars each. It was so much food for that amount of money. It was amazing quality. And here at Van Cavalti EV, with some of the different foods being actually made in house, as well as the service here, the unlimited tea, it was absolutely unbelievable. An amazing experience and definitely a place to come if you want to experience the true Turkish Cavalti breakfast. Thank you so much for watching our video. We hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please don't forget to hit the like button and definitely don't forget to subscribe. All right, we're hungry to travel and we'll see you at our next meal.